with another Hexbox video. Today I'm using a DJI mic because I thought I should upgrade microphone to something better so you can just hear me more clearly. So today, let me ask you this question. Ever wondered how attackers cracked weak logging pages today? Well, today we are going to hands-on with Burp Suite, Intruder, Brute Force Loggings, and from plain texts, credentials, and a massive security risk. Why is it? Well, I'll be showing you guys exactly why it is, but first let's start off Oh, <coughs> uh, VM, not VM. Oh, how can I spell today? I'm on like three cups of coffee. Right, so our, well, our web page is working. So if you haven't seen earlier videos, we did SQL injections and hidden dictionary usually go by start. Today, we'll be learning logging pages. So our motive for today is, as you know, we make content like this we make our own website so we can do it securely we'll be uploading them soon to github uh, making our github page so you guys can download it and have some fun with it as well not just us and if you're stuck you can watch our videos and do it as well so hopefully by the end of february or next not this month next month yeah you should be able to download it but in a community tab we'll be updating you when it will be um, available so mission brief your mission is to identify the valid username and password combination for the login page using burp suite not hydra we tried it with hydra we had some difficulties so we're going to stick with burp suite today the credentials are stored in plain text and you will need to test multiple combinations to find the correct pair tools allowed burp suite community edition or professionals we will be using community edition but <coughs> before we carry on let's start a burp suite burp suite should be already downloaded and ready in your uh, VM or OS or Kali Linux. So we're going to press OK, then this, then we're going to press next. Uh, use Burp Suite defaults, start. <coughs> but anyway, we are keeping it simple today. This is a level one of our Hexploits hacking challenge and our goal is to test multiple loggings combination using Burp Suite. Lists, right? So first, we need to intercept their requests so we can analyze what gets sent over to the server. Right, so we're gonna have a target. So you can run Burp Suite on here, but I recommend if you have Burp Suite, just run it as it is and just use Burp Suite browser. I'll show you how. So after you open your Burp Suite browser like this, which will be Port Swinger, you're gonna go to your basically target. So we're gonna do this, copy, we'll go back to their Chrome Burp Suite. Do this and then press enter. Right, so we are kind of in, if you know what I mean. Because if you go back to Burp Suite, see, already captured it. So, what we can show you in pretty, which is pre format, you see it in the raw or hex, which makes, in my opinion, gibberish. It's going to stay with pretty. Let's see what the response looks like. Literally, as the page shows, your mission brief by is that, oh, how can we do the logging? Right, then you have raw of 200k means it's alive as well the effects and render this will show you the page which is here on on burp suite as well as here if you go to response and render anyway we need to find the logging right so if you go back to your burp suite browser and let's say we do we already tested it test one and then test one and then press enter and see what happens nothing happened we didn't get through right so let's read the instructions open burp suite intercept traffic from your browser navigate to the login page which we did attempt to log in with a username and password capture the request using burp suite proxy tab right click on the request and select the center of the intruder confirm attack position by marking the username and password fields Start the attack and analyze results with different response, e.g. redirecting. Because if we, we made this website, so if you pass this first basic one, it will redirect it to level 2, and it will get harder and then harder. And I think the last one is time-based, which is every 30 seconds the code will change in the algorithm. And so you're going to have to find a way to bypass it, which will all teach you how to do it. Obviously, this is ethically. Please use it at your own risk. Don't be stupid. This is just for education of purposes only. Okay, so enjoy. Anyway, so we captured it. So as you can see, it's post text. Okay, this is the time. 
So now if you go onto it, it says pretty, as you can see, username, password, test one, test one, exactly what we typed. If you go to response, render, see, we can see it, nothing happens, right? So what we can do now is right click, find center intruder, I need my black coffee, right? No sugar, no milk, just black coffee. It's really good for you, you should go try it. Intruder, right? So we're gonna go into intruder after we did that, and we have these. So instead of highlighting them separately and clearing them, what you can do is press auto. And as you can see, it will highlight them for you straight away. Um, so next, what we're gonna be doing <coughs> will be um, having basic usernames, like for example, weak passwords like password123, password admin, let me in, 1234, test123, right? Or similar to usernames, admin, god, whatever, right? So we got that, we highlighted it because we press auto. Now we're gonna go click here and go to cluster bomb attacks. Allocate payload set to each position, intruder, iterate through the older position combination for each set. That's what we want we don't know exactly what the username is or password because at the end of the day it could be the other way around and you might be correct but you can't look right anyway how we do this <coughs> so we do payload one right so we're going to load r1 as you can see we have different ones so obviously it's hydra pass text hydra username text right so we're going to do this one these we did ourselves we in several videos back we show you how to make files yourself in nano and save them so we did our ones so go to hydra test well usernames because that's what we need for the first one and then on position two we are going to do pass which is passwords right because as you can see we have pass password password one two three and then for the first position we have admin root right and then what we do is simply just press attack uh, the community edition burp speed contains a demo version okay we get that right so can you see anything i'll give you a couple of seconds because i can you know how i can tell i see something because it's either going to say 200 okay or 404 or other different codes but you know what 302 means it looks like nothing happened but it doesn't say deny does it and it says payload one, which is username, which is admin. Payload two, which is passwords, which is basically password one, two, three. As you can see, username, admin, and password. But how do we know if we got through? <coughs> so can we see it? Well, yes, because if you go to responses, and then here you go, HPTT 301 found. So it has found something. This is the set cookie session. <coughs> All right, what does this mean? you should be redirected automatically to the target URL, the level two. If not, click the link. Okay, so go to render and what happens? Oh, completely different, we are differently, right? So let's test out if these credentials are correct. So we're gonna do admin and password one, two, three. So we're gonna go back to our page here and do admin <coughs> and then password one two three let's see what happens boom we're on level two wow and we're gonna finish up video today because i don't want to spoil level two we'll be doing level two with a different way of cracking and hacking the passwords for level two the little sneak peek hint the password is hashed with md5 find a two or write a script to hash your input so i'm not going to spoil how to do it I'll be making a video which will be out next week or the same week which this video is out and if you want to see something else or something different how we do things comment down below more than happy to make another video about it but if you want to learn how to clack this and then the next one is time based or capacci and other things leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace